begin your import, click the Application menu, then Import. I'll go to my desktop and select the GNSX file I have saved there, then click Open. This is the Import Wizard, which will walk you through a three-step process of importing your GNSX file. In Step 1, you are prompted with the manifest from the selected file. My file contains just one project. If your file has multiple projects, all will be shown, and you can use the checkboxes to select which projects you want to import. Notice the checkmark for Users and Groups. GNSX files can contain complete projects, project settings, project schemas, users and groups, or any combination of these. My GNSX file contains a complete copy of my project and users and groups information. Let's exclude users and groups by removing the checkmark. When you have finished selecting the projects for import, click Next. In Step 2, we specify the target projects into which you want to import the data. This gives you great control over how to load the data. Most frequently, you will be importing a single project backup into a new project, or importing a change set into an existing project. This step provides rich options to support a number of scenarios. My selections here indicate that I'll be importing Sample Fast Food into a new project. Click Next to move on to Step 3. In the third and final step, you have the opportunity to review the import actions before importing the file. Clicking back will allow you to change the options. I'll click Import to proceed. The Job Monitor dialog appears and indicates when the import is complete. In most cases, this happens very quickly. If your project is large, the import will take longer. There are just a few more details to note. First, when importing into a remote repository, the file is first uploaded to the repository host machine, then imported. Should you need to close Genesis during the import, you can do so after the file uploads and the import job will be completed by the repository host. Second, when importing a project backup, the final step of the import process is to import the project level access control information from the import file. These are the permission settings that were applied to your project and included in the GNSX file. If you complete the import, then cannot find the project to open it, your user account might not have the appropriate permissions. Third, sometimes you'll get an alert at the end of the import that the job completed with conflicts. Most conflicts can be considered alerts, not errors. Take a moment to review the conflicts. If you need help interpreting it, email our support team at support at vitechcorp.com.